In this video, I am talking about this beauty Sigma 14 to 24 millimeter f2.8 DGDN hard lens. These lens have been out for a while now, but until now I had no chance to shoot with it. This is a lens designed for full frame mirrorless cameras and it is available in Sony E and L mounts. It's one of those lenses that has already become a modern classic and one that is obviously very high quality. So in this video I am going to share with you some photos and videos that I have had a pleasure to capture with it, talk about its build quality, value for money and in the end give you my final thoughts if this lens is still a good buy in 2021. Before I go into it I must say that I have this lens on loan from Sigma UK for this review. However, as always, I was not asked or paid to say anything specific about it. So everything I say and show you in this video is my honest and 100% unbiased opinion about it. This is a premium professional lens without any doubt. It truly delivers the results that are outstanding in every single way. In my experience with a lot of wide-angle lenses, you have to deal with the distortion and the lack or too much contrast that you have to constantly fight with in edit. This Sigma is one of those lenses that is capable of delivering the results you do expect to get when you press that button. 14 to 24 millimeter focal range allows you to capture moderately wide to extremely wide images and it is perfectly suited for for landscape, interior or astrophotography or any type of photography when you need to get as much as possible into the frame or capture your subject in tighter spaces. Apart from being a perfect tool for the obvious wide angle shooting, it is also great for getting those creative juices flowing for capturing the world from the unusual angles or to capture those wacky perspectives it creates. I love finding those ordinary and seemingly boring objects and transform them into something that is actually artistically pleasing to the eye or just simply different than you see with the naked eye by just approaching them from an unusual angle. This lens is perfect for that. It is a zoom lens but its focal range might be limiting if you are looking for a versatile zoom lens. It is wide and even fully zoomed in it is still wide. For everyday walkabout lens, most of the time you are going to find yourself too far away from everything. But in my opinion, this is the beauty of this lens. It makes me think about the distances, angles and what I am actually shooting more than just pointing it towards something and pressing that shutter button. 11 aperture blades with random diaphragm creating a really nice and smooth bokeh when you can achieve that foreground to background separation. It is after all a wide angle lens and the bokeh will be pronounced the most when shooting really close with it. Actually only when shooting really close with it. Minimum focusing distance is very small as with most of the wide angle lenses 28 centimeters in this case. The autofocus is very good, super silent and reliable as you'd expect from any art lens. Almost zero chromatic aberration and in the camera correction or Adobe Lens Profile take care of any bulging or pin cushion giving you very true to life wide angle images. Although not featherweight, the size of it makes it a perfect tool for filming with, especially on a gimbal. 14mm can really enhance the sense of motion, especially when passing through objects or going near the ground. It is also great for any kind of vlogging, handheld vlogging, and in general when you must film yourself in a tighter spaces. But bear in mind that it is going to distort your head if you are too close to the edges of the frame. Also this wide focal range is very forgiving when handheld shooting. Although there is no stabilization built in, the macro jitters and small handshakes are not as much visible when shooting video handheld because it is so, so wide. Build quality, it is a very well built proper old school pro build quality. All metal and hard plastic feeling very very solid and built to last. With that comes the weight. This is also what we all associate with Pro Sigma art lenses. This lens weighs a whopping 795 grams, which is a lot of weight considering it is actually fairly small lens. The front glass element is curved so there is no way to attach traditional screw-on filters but you can use specialist made for this lens 
back filters. They just clip on at the back and work as normal filters when used, but if you want to remove or change them, you have to take the lens off the camera every time. These are ND filters from Haida, high quality, no vignetting or color cast, but if you need them, they will add to the overall cost of, of this lens. Standard auto manual focus switch, focus hold button that can be programmed to different functions by the camera, focus by wire with a firmish focus ring, probably one that hardcore filmmakers would hate, but absolutely perfect for, for anyone else. The zoom ring turns clockwise to zoom in. For me personally, it feels like it is backwards. Not a problem and standard with all Sigma zooms, but if you use Sony or Lumix zoom lenses, then switch to this or any other Sigma lens might feel odd at first, as the zoom ring on other lenses turns in the opposite direction. It is something you get used to over time if if it is something that bothers you. What would you say is the right way for the zoom ring to turn? From right to left to zoom in or from left to right like this one? Let me know in the comments below. As I mentioned before, there is no image stabilization built in, but the lens has got the weather ceiling. The lens hood is built in, and even though it doesn't feel or look from the outside that the lens extends when using the zoom, it actually does inside inside the hood. The zoom is very short though, and my experience didn't affect the balance of the camera with the lens on the gimbal at all when changing the focal length. Value for money, this is a premium lens with a premium price tag. It retails in UK for £1,269 and for $1,299 in US. It's certainly not a budget lens, but one that should be looked as an investment. It's built to last, it delivers outstanding results, and if you are a photographer shooting real estate or landscape professionally, really good value for money and justifiable cost as a tool to make money with. If you are not a pro but can justify spending this kind of money on the lens, then it is only a good value if you are going to use it. This is something that I see very often when people buy very expensive equipment and just simply don't use it. I'm guilty of it myself. If you are going to use it regularly, then this price could be very justifiable for lens as good as this. Not if it is going to collect dust for months or worse, live somewhere you never even see it. There really isn't that much competition for this lens in this class. You do have Sony 14 to 24 mm f4, similar price, but only f4. There is Sony 12 to 24 mm f2.8 G Master lens that is twice more expensive. Tamron 17 to 28 f2.8, not as wide as this, and so on. Literally nothing in this focal range from Lumix for L mounts either. So if you are shopping for 14 to 24 mm specifically, this could be the right choice the only choice with f2.9 aperture in this price range anyway. I think it really is worth the investment if you are going to use it more than once a year when you remember to take it with you on a hike in the summer or if you are a pro and intend to make money with it. If you want to use it for filming with and must have ND filters, uh, this set this set of rear ND filters from Haida will set you back another 80 pounds or dollars as well. There are other cheaper options, but these, these filters truly don't compromise on the image quality and are perfect choice to go with this lens. Conclusion, this is one of, if not the best wide angle zoom that I have ever used. Simply amazing quality and a lens that makes it much easier to capture anything I pointed at and get the results that I expect. Pretty much what you see is what you get with this lens. It's not light, but not the heaviest either, but it is fairly, fairly small. Certainly small for an ultra wide zoom, making it portable enough to carry with you when traveling. Great choice for landscape interiors and astrophotography but also for video work. Maybe not the most versatile focal range ever. Well, it is if you are only shooting interiors or landscape, but it can deliver really true to life images with very straight verticals, natural looking colors and contrast. It is also so much fun to play with and lens that is great to capture more out of norm and more interesting images than more standard zooms or primes can anyway. They say that you get what you pay for and the price tag to quality ratio is appropriate here. Even though it is not a cheap lens, it is a very well priced when comparing it to any other pro quality lenses out there, especially if you compare it quality and price wise to any of the Sony G Master lenses. This is certainly great value for money. Would I buy it? 
absolutely yes. I couldn't recommend it highly enough as it has really made an impression on me. And if you are not bothered by the little bit extra weight and the fact that you have to have special filters to use with it at the back, then it is pretty much perfect ultra wide angle zoom for your full frame Sony or L-mount Lumix or even Leica cameras. And this is it from me. If you like this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Hit that bell button to receive notifications of my future videos. Type your comments below. Let me know what you think about this lens and follow me on Instagram for more photos and videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time. One, two, test, test, test. Standard auto manual focus switch. Standard uh, auto... Standard auto manual focus switch. Boom, boom, boom. Violence in my room. <laughs> oh, that's my stomach. I'm hungry. Patch, 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 patch. Edit, chop, chop, chop. And the video is done.